Here's a demo of Snowflake key pair authentication in Omni. Uh, you'll see we have a new key pair section here in the connection setup screen. You'll also see that there is a, uh, a line beneath the password dialog showing you whether or not key pair authentication is enabled or disabled. And so we'll go over here to the key pair section uh, and generate a new key pair. Uh, now notice uh, when you generate a key pair, this is the public key that comes back. That's the one that's perfectly safe to uh, handle. It's not considered a secret. Uh, and this is the one that the user will configure in Snowflake. Uh, when we generate the key pair, the private key is going to be encrypted and immediately stored in an encrypted form. Uh, it's not actually decryptable by anything except our querying pipeline. So it's handled completely securely. Uh, and it's not sitting around on anybody's laptop or anything like that. So the uh, public key is uh, going to copy that. And let's go ahead and enable this key pair. So we'll go over to the settings page again. You'll see the key pair authentication is now showing that it is enabled. Uh, now notice you can have both the password and the key pair active at the same time. Um, but when the key pair is active, it will actually override and it will be the only authentication mechanism used. Um, you'll see in this case, uh, the key pair authentication is failing because we haven't yet configured our Snowflake user to use the key pair. Unfortunately, this is the error that Snowflake gives us. It's not particularly descriptive, but that is in fact what that means. Uh, so let's go into Snowflake. We copy the key pair already. We're gonna paste it in here. This is the uh, command to set the key pair for this user. So we're gonna do that. Uh, that is done. Go back, test again. And great, it's working. So, uh, the other thing I want to show you is that we can actually use this system to roll over keys seamlessly. So uh, we can generate a second key pair here. Um, and if we wanted to roll over the key, what we can do is uh, we can copy the second key pair value. Snowflake has a command to assign a secondary key pair to the user. So we can assign that to the user. Uh, and then uh, we can go back and you know, we can activate the secondary key pair. Uh, and it will start working seamlessly with no interruption to the connection. And then we can go back later and disable all of the uh, old key pairs.